Hello everybody, welcome back. Today our block is called Louisiana Pinwheel. So for that you will need eight, I chose light blue, three and a half inch squares. Four, I chose dark blue, three and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. And four of white, three and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. Now I have already made three of these because this is made up of four of the same block. So this is what we're doing. So I'm going to lay that there, but first I'll show you how to make it. We're going to just get rid of these papers. We're going to take our blue pieces. And I lost my little clear one. I don't know what happened to it. I've looked everywhere. I really miss it. We're just going to lay this down corner to corner. I'm going to have to try to buy another one because I don't like this. I, I really want my other one. Draw a straight line, corner to corner. Same on the other one. Now, of course, you're going to do this four times for four of this. Get rid of that. Then we're going to do flying geese, just like we always have been doing. Like we always do. I'm going to pin it. And I'm going to pin this on both sides here because... I think it'll hold better and it shifted on me on one of these so I just want to pin both sides we're gonna go sew this up straight down I do need to get another little square of fabric eventually I will Let's go clean it up. All right, we are going to take our pins out and cut it off here, quarter inch from the the line we sewed. And we are going to iron that open. See, it went a little off too, but nothing I'm going to be mad about. Put this one down. Pin it on both sides again. Go sew it up. Come back over, remove our pins, slice it down the middle. Not down the middle. Why are y'all listening to me? Down a quarter inch from our sew line. And there's our flying geese block. Now we're just going to do it just like that. So we're just going to lay it right there. Fold this over. I'm going to flip it over though because I want it to be from this side. Pin it down here and up here. And the reason I pin it um, instead of pinning it up here is because then I can leave the pins in and I don't have to worry about it while I'm sewing it. Let's go sew that up. quarter inch but I want to try to get that should line up right but I, I like to try to get my line to go right across the where my where my stitches come into like an X right there see how it's not quite but it's close enough that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it now I can take those pins out Let's go iron it open. Let's cut those off. Iron 
it open. Now I have four of these. Two I have already sewn together. So these will just go just like this. In all honesty, I'm going to just, if you flip this around, it's going to be that piece again. So, but it's going to be a pinwheel in the middle. So we're just going to fold this over and we will pin it at the end and the beginning. And then we'll just go, well, let's try it again. <laughs> line it up right there and put a pin. And then we're going to do the same here and put a pin. So now we're just going to stitch it straight down. Drop the pin. That's why I wear shoes down here. Well, it's my basement. That's not the only reason I wear shoes down here. Snap that off. Let's go back over. Hmm. Sorry, I wanted to pick up that pin while I was thinking about it. Now we ironed this one open to the white, so we're going to do the same thing here. And that is so they will nest together when we lay them like this. Fold this over. In essence, that's not right. I didn't iron it to the white. I ironed it to the other side, which made too much um, bulk. So we're going to iron it to the white because there are less seams on that side. So now we will nest it together. Pin it, and then once here at the end, oh, what did I do? Sorry, I need to get a little button for my video so I can change it that way, but until then, see, that's a little bit off. Hmm. Let's pin here in the middle. And then, oh, you know what? It is off. And you know what? I don't check the measurements. So let's just square these up first. No big deal. We're going to... We're just going to lay it down. Well, I guess that won't work for this part. But I'm just going to trim off all these edges. So it makes it straight. I'm going to do it again because I want it to be there we go. Hmm. Oh, I didn't close that. Whoops. Now we're going to trim this one too. I'm going to line up that line. So I just need to trim off a little on this side. And what I should have done was trim up each block to what I needed it. Like e this separate thing. We should have trimmed that, but we didn't. So next time. This one's pretty good. It's going to be extra there. I see it now. It was cut a little crooked. No big deal. So you just, if you, if you want to stop before you go on, just trim up your blocks as you go. I could have saved time there had I trimmed it before I sewed these together, but I didn't, so 
we're just gonna move on now it's not right we're gonna flip it see how this one is bigger here I do see that so it's not gonna line up perfectly but we'll trim it when we're done so as long as our seam lines up here in the middle and then we'll do our best on this just cut a little crooked no big deal and this one lines up pretty good so we're just gonna go sew this down and then come right back I do have my spinner going behind the computer there if you or the speaker if if you hear that it's just my spinner I got a pen on there trying a new technique sounds like a little grinding thing let's go back over iron it open I'm gonna do this side just because that's one that landed there looks pretty good see how it's extra there oh, what are you doing to me here all right all right so now honestly that's the only side that needs trimmed up and I'm just going to take that same ruler turn it a little bit sideways there line up my line this one right here, I'm just lining up all the little lines down through. And I'm going to trim it off. And there it is. The rest of them are all straight already. So I'm not going to do it. But there it is. It is called a uh, Louisiana Pinwheel. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make it and love it. And I will see y'all next time. Have a great day.